This is the new Freelab FX Motion chip, a new Bluetooth chip that is not only able to measure your sprint time intervals, but it's also able to determine your stride length, stride frequency, number of steps, and in certain cases even your reaction times. Now Freelab was so kind as to send us these units, so big thanks to them, so we could test them and give you our honest thoughts. These new chips are distinct from the known and loved FX chip BLEs and will exist next to them, as by what Freelab likes to call a premium transponder. This is quite logical, because the FX chip motion does measure quite a few extras compared to the FX chip BLE that just detects time intervals. But before we go into the differences, let's quickly summarize the things that Freelab kept the same for this premium Bluetooth chip. First up, the FX motion's dimensions are 52 by 39 by 16 mm and they weigh 17 grams. This is the same as the rechargeable FX chip BLEs, but if you still have the older CR2032 battery powered BLE chips, like the ones I have here, those are a tiny bit smaller, but also weigh 17 grams. The FX motion chips can only detect a cone if the time between the passing of the first and a second cone is a minimum of 0.7 seconds, which correlates to a cone every 10 meters for a regular sprint. For a while now, Freelab has been putting rechargeable batteries in its devices, and the same goes for the FX motion chip that has a LiPo 3.7V 80mAh battery and it takes about 5 hours to fully charge one chip and should last for about 100 hours of use. To charge them, just slide them onto this thin stick. With the clip on the chip, these charging sticks hold 4 FX motion or FX chip BLEs. And when you take off the clips, they even hold up to 6 chips. To turn on the FX motion, just give it a shake and an LED light will flicker to signal that it's ready to go. If the chip doesn't pass a cone for 30 minutes, it shuts itself down, which is a very nice feature, so you don't arrive at training with an empty chip. These chips, just like the FX chip BLE, clip onto your tights and need to be placed right in the middle, below the belly button, for optimal detection. Once you pass a Freelab cone, or when the gun goes off, on a Freelab e-starter, the FX motion chip starts recording the time, but it also detects the first movement by an athlete and does calculate reaction time. One side note here is that reaction times are only detected if you use the FX motion chip together with the new second iteration of the E starter. During your sprint, the FX motion can hold 5 intermediate times with stride pattern data. And then this data gets sent to the My Freelab app. When you open the My Freelab app and select an exercise, like the regular sprint, you will now see the option to choose between the Relay Coach BLE with FX chip or the option for the FX chip motion slash BLE. Make sure you set the correct distance of the run you're about to do if you want to receive your stride length data. For getting stride frequency and number of steps, setting the distance is not necessary. Finally, make sure that in your general settings you have checked the sliders for reaction time and strides, otherwise they will also not display. Now you can just start the workout, time the desired sprints and see all this new data roll in together with the metrics that you were already getting, like the time intervals and the speed. Very easy in this new updated My Freelab app is the button with the three connected dots on the bottom. That lets you share the data of your workout in CVS or PDF format. This way, you as a coach can just directly send an athlete his or her data. So the FX motion is a real step up from the FX chip BLE. The fact that you can have direct info on step length and frequency without the need for high cost hardware like an Opto jump strip of 30 meters is a real game changer. The price of the FX motion will however depend on the area you live in, because Freelab does not directly sell to customers, but uses area specific middlemen to get their devices to you. We've linked some websites for specific continents down below, as well as the Freelab website where you can search for the distributor closest to you. If this information was helpful to you, consider subscribing for more videos like it. It really means a lot to us.